Hey everyone, Emily here. I wanted to share a little bit more about why I became a coach with you and what is driving me to want to be the best coach that I can be. So as you've already heard or maybe you are going to see and hear these video stories of other coaches and why they decided to join our team and become a coach as well. When we talk about a why, what that means is it is our motivating factor for everything that we do as a coach. It is the underlying reason, it's the foundation for being a coach and what is going to push us on the days that we are too tired. It's going to push us on the days where we're very busy. And what that means and what that does is it really just allows us to um, move forward regardless of what's going on. Because when you are a coach, you essentially you own your own business and you have to be very self-disciplined in order to build a business because especially when you're sitting at home, you, there's so many other things you can do. And so if you really wanna build a successful business, you have to have a why that's going to push you and motivate you and it's going to be something that makes your heart beat faster. It's something that's going to push you um, through when you're having doubts and when you're having um, just tough days. And so let me share my why with you and maybe it'll connect with you a little bit more. Um, so my why, there's three parts to my why and, and that's not, maybe not what your why looks like. Maybe you just have one underlying reason for the reason that you may want to sign up as a coach and may want to do this. But let me share with you. My why, there's three parts. First is my family. I was not always a healthy person. Definitely, um, definitely not healthy when I was modeling and when I was trying to constantly lose weight on with my body and it just was awful. I treated my body very poorly and so I haven't always been healthy. But I'm now a mom and a wife and so I have to set the example in our house for what health looks like. I have made great strides with my family. My husband who's a Texan has really changed his eating habits. Um, a lot since we've been married, but I want to instill that in my daughter, especially that eating healthy is not, not about losing weight. It's not about looking good. Eating healthy is about sustaining a healthy life and a better life because when you're healthy, you have the energy to do more. You have the confidence to do more. You have the strength to do more. And so I want to instill in her that being healthy is just a part of life. It's not something that comes and goes when you feel like it or when you need it. It's something that's important. So I am a coach because I want to show my family what it's like to be healthy and how we can help other people be healthy as well by just inspiring people, by being consistent in our health and in our fitness. And so my family is a huge reason. I want my, I want my daughter to grow up just loving her body no matter what size it is because we eat healthy and we are healthy all around. Another reason, and this is more so on the business side of things, but as a coach, I get to own my own business. And that scared the pants off of me when I first started. Um, being your own business owner and being your own boss, it seems great until you start. And then you're like, whoa, I'm in charge of these people. I'm in charge of making this happen. It's all up to me. And it can be very scary, but at the same time, it can be the most exciting thing because you truly get to plan your future. You get to plan exactly how big you want to build your business. You get to plan your um, financial situation. You get, to, you get to choose all of that. Obviously, it comes with a lot of hard work, but it's all up to you and you get to choose that. And so I've always been an assistant. I've always been somebody who helps. I always like to take direction rather than give direction. But being a coach has changed my life because I've stepped into a leadership role. And I didn't know what I was doing at first at all. I didn't. I just learned as I went and I learned from people who invested in me. And if you join this team, that's something that's going to be such a huge thing for you is because you'll have people pouring into you, teaching you how to build a team, teaching you how to lead your team, teaching you how to talk to customers and run challenge groups. You have the help to make that happen. You just have to decide. But going back to why you know, I've always, I, I wrote it down and I said, I've always been in the shadows. Um, I've always been somebody's assistant. I've always been behind the scenes. And so being a coach, my why is that I want to be in control of what I do. I want to be in control of my financial situation. I want to be in control of how many people I get to reach. I don't want to have to take 
orders from somebody. I don't want to have a boss. I want to be the boss. And so that was a big thing. That's what motivates me is I want to build a business to where I am the boss and I get to control all of that. Um, and the third thing is, and I think this is the most important, is that I have a faith, I have a relationship with Jesus Christ, and He has truly put this passion on my heart to help other people get healthy and fit. And so, because of that, I want to honor that. I, it's a talent He's given me, it's a gift, it's a desire and a passion. And because I know that, and I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that He's instilled that in me, I want to honor that with every fiber of my being and work as hard as I can for Him and I want to work as hard as I can to honor Him and glorify Him and, and hopefully be able to reach more people for Him in the process. And so those are my, that's my why. That's what pushes me on the days I wake up and don't want to wake up early to work. That's what pushes me. That's what motivates me. So it's important for you to find your why. And that's why we are um, pushing everybody else to have a why and to share their videos as well. So. I hope that helps. I hope you can relate with that a little bit if you have a very similar why or similar story. Thanks.